Problem. Dripping taps. Solution. First, turn off the water. Turn on the tap to make sure you have turned the water off. Then put the plug in. This stops anything dropping down plug hole and you're losing it. Then remove the tap handle. First, undo the cap. Sometimes you'll need a screwdriver to get this off. And then the tap handle itself. If the tap handle is a bit stiff and difficult to get off, you can use a spanner and lever it off. Now the tap's ready for the tap head to be removed. The easiest, safest way to remove a tap head nut is using the new Easy Tap Splitter from ABD Tools. This kit contains everything needed to remove a stubborn head nut with very little force and no damage to the connections or ceramic wear. Use to use this, push the sleeve over the spout. If this is loose, use the rubber inner sleeves to obtain a snug fit. Select the correct size of insert and place over the tap head nut. Fit the tap spanner to the left of the tap at approximately 45 degrees and tighten the hand screw towards the split towards the spindle to hold the tap spanner horizontal. Put the washer and nut on the eye bolt and slot the eye of the eye bolt over the spanner. Connect to the sleeve and screw up the bolt to tighten up the bolt. When you've got it hand tight, use the small spanner turning clockwise until you feel the pressure released as the seal on the head nut is split. Keep turning to make sure the nut is fully released. Oh, one other alternative, traditional alternative to this, is to remove the whole tap, clamp it in a vise and apply the pressure. But we don't recommend this, it tends to damage the tap somewhat. Though, with a sledgehammer you can get a fair amount of pressure. As you see, very little force needed. It's a single figure, finger to turn it and you can see the tap head turning in which is cracking the seal on the nut. Once the seal is well and truly broken remove the tap splitter and you'll find that the head nut, check that the head nut is easy to move and simply remove it with very little pressure. Take the head nut off, and this now allows you to replace the washer that's under the bottom there. You can get a tap reseater to re-grind the seat which is inside the tap itself. If necessary, you can replace the spindle if the spindle is damaged. Once you've repaired your tap, you can use the tap splitter to put it back on again with a decent amount of pressure. Just reverse it and turn it until you feel that there is enough pressure to have made a good seal.